Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're gonna talk about SAP transports, but we're gonna focus on the troubleshooting portion. I will discuss a specific error and it's called generation of programs and screens. And for the transaction codes, we have STMS as our main T code for the transport proper. We have T code SE10 here just to remind you that the prerequisite is to, of course, make sure that the transport is released. I will create a separate video on Transports 101 where we create, modify, create transport of copies, delete, and even release, so on and so forth. So for now, we're going to focus on the troubleshooting portion. I will simulate the error for you guys and show you how to analyze. I will use my blog post for this tutorial, so I'll leave the link down below. You can always click on that and refer to that for guidance. This is the blog post. This type of error usually happens when you try to import a transport to an SAP environment and you get a red status icon or a return code 8. The generic logs are here. It's a template or at least a snippet of what it's going to look like. We have here the transport request number, the system or SAP environment to which you are trying to import it, and a couple of other information. The error log is over here and usually it follows with the log only generates programs with load versions. Let's move on to the solution. So just to give you a brief background on the nature of this error, it's usually the result of an ABAP code issue or an error. So I did mention that this type of error happens during a transport import step and the usual root cause lies on the ABAP code. In this post, we're going to try to simulate an example and go through the steps for us to analyze. So here is a screenshot of T code SCMS. I'm just going to click on the truck button and let's just say that I'm going to select the specific SAP environment or import queue to which I want the transport to go into. I did mask some details. For visual purposes, you can refer to this dark blue highlighted row. So let's say this is the SAP environment that I want to import the transport. I double click on that. And I will be presented with a bunch of transport requests in that specific queue. I want to be able to narrow down the results, so I will make use of the filter functionality. I will click on the request column header over here and click on the filter button over here. So once that's done, you just have to enter the specific transport number and click on the check button. You'll receive this type of output. If you're sure with the results that this specific transport row is what you want to transport, you just select or click on the row and then click on the import request button. It is the truck button over here. You might notice that there are two truck buttons. And I decided to use this truck button, the one with the smaller orange square. This just means that I'm trying to import this specific request only. So only the selected request. If you click on the other truck button, I believe it's like a quote unquote mass functionality where you import the other requests. So for me, I click on this one. You will be presented with this type of pop-up and it says import transport request. Since I want to do the import right now, I will select the immediate radio button and then click on the check button. As additional information, some of you may have the invalid component version status icon. What does that look like? It looks something like this. Let me go back to the screen. You can see that the status here of the transport has this invalid component version icon. Usually it's going to be either red or green for okay to import. If it's red, then you might need to double check on what's wrong with that. 
But for now, I have this invalid component version icon and I'm pretty much sure that I want to ignore it. So I can click on the options tab over here in the import transport request window and select the ignore invalid component version checkbox. This is just telling SAP to disregard this and proceed with the transport. You might encounter this in environments where you might have where you might have done some recent SAP patches or upgrades, so on and so forth, anything with a component version inconsistency. But for me, this is okay. So I will click on the checkbox and click on the check button. So since we're trying to simulate the error, we're expecting a red status icon and this one is in red. Let me zoom you in further. It's this red sort of light or icon and this serves as the return code this is usually return code 8 the number doesn't really say much for now so what we're gonna do is we're going to either double click on the red button or click or select the row and click on the logs button over here you will see the logs in the next screen. It says overview of transport logs and you will immediately see the red highlighted rows. In our case, SAP is saying that there's an error in the generation of programs and screens and we have the return code 8 over here which says ended with errors. You will have other types of errors. It's not just this one. So you can always double click on the red line and do some further analysis for this example we're going to double click on this and we will see this type of screen so this matches our log snippet a while ago where i mentioned that the transfer request number is here the system is there a couple of other details are there including the only generates programs with load versions and the red line over here that says it ended with return code 8. For those of you who are doing this for the first time, you might not have noticed the expand button over here, the one with the blue arrow, as I have for the first time. So I'm sort of sharing with you guys that there's an existing expand button over here, so you can click on that. And we can see more details as to what triggered the error. We can see that, okay, a program blank include blank has a syntax error in line blank. It's talking about some sort of syntax error in the ABAP code. In this case, you might want to double check the concerned program if you have the authorizations to do so, which I will show you in the next couple of screenshots. I tried to validate the error by going to T code SE38 and I entered the program. Let's say this is a custom program and it's called Z program. I enter the program name and click on the check button over here. I should receive the same result over here where there is a log at the bottom portion of the screen. It says one syntax error found for include something and it mentions the line. For me to double check on the concerned code, I can double click on the line item and I should see the specific code with the syntax error. So it's basically the simplest flow that you can deal with in terms of checking these kinds of errors. And for the next step, I assume that you guys are the ones transporting the, the changes to a certain SAP environment and not necessarily the developer. So if that's the case, the next step is to discuss the issue with the assigned or owning ABAP developer or functional consultant, whoever is concerned, to assist with the error. The bottom line is that the code should be modified and corrected. So once the, the code is corrected, the transfer is ready, and all necessary actions such as the activation, so on and so forth, are included in the transport, you can re-perform the transport import in the said environment. So for those of you who want more information on this one, I did 
linked a SAP note on this specific error, so you can always refer to that. Just to summarize, on a high-level note, this type of error is, is related to the ABAP code itself. Most likely, that is the root cause, so that means that the code needs to be modified or corrected before the transport can be successful. It's possible that there are certain objects that are not included in the transport. Let's say if you're doing the, the coding or some sort of configurations in a separate environment and you're trying to move it to another environment, then that could cause some inconsistencies, especially if you're dealing with a new custom program and not everything is included in the said transport. So that's it. I hope this helped you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.